we have hit a new record low. So will 2021 be the year that we see the continuing trend of low interest rates or will we start to see them rise? Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your fellow realtor. If you're new here, I make videos all about buying, selling, and trending topics in the real estate market. Consider subscribing to my channel so you never miss a new video. I am back with a brand new mortgage rate update and the first of 2021. And boy, did we start the year off with a bang. We have hit an all time record low. For the first week of January, the all time record low was 2.65% according to Freddie Mac. Now this is the 17th historical low in less than a year, which is crazy to think about and unprecedented. Now this is down from the 2.66% from the previous week, which isn't, you know, a huge change, but it's a low nonetheless. Just to put this in perspective, this time a year ago, we were sitting at a 3.64%. So this 2.65% is actually the lowest ever recorded by Freddie Mac since they started recording rates back in 1971. In 2020, we started at 3.72% and we went all the way down to 2.65%. So is this trend going to continue in 2021? Are we going to continue to see record lows? Well, according to Freddie Mac, this may just be the bottom. Many experts are predicting moderate increases from now until the end of the year. They are predicting this because for the first time since last spring, the yield on the 10 year treasury rose above 1%. Yields move inversely from prices. As prices fall, yields rise. This was caused from the Georgia Senate race. Because the House, the Senate, and the presidency will all be Democratic, investors are expecting more stimulus. More stimulus equals more deficit, which then equals more Treasury issuance. The added supply will then put upward pressure on yields, which then would equal higher rates. The Federal Reserve has bought $120 billion in bonds each month since the beginning of the pandemic, which has put downward pressure on the rates. And they have been on record to say that they are committed to doing this for the foreseeable future. But only time will tell on what effects this will have on the mortgage rates. So what does this all mean? Well, according to Freddie Mac, and I quote, the combination of rising mortgage rates and increasing home prices will accelerate the decline in affordability and further squeeze the potential home buyers during the spring home sale season. Now to keep this in perspective, it is my opinion that even though the rates are projected to rise, the key word here is moderately. And even if the rates go up a full percentage point, it's still relatively low, historically speaking. Now, I do think that a slight rise in the rates will stall out this epic home price situation that we have going on now, but it could bring a healthy balance to the market. So sellers, if you are thinking about selling, now is the perfect time. You don't want to wait and try and time the market because what's going to happen is, is the rates are start going to start to go up and it is going to squeeze potential home buyers and you may not get that price that you were hoping to get for your home. Now, to see if this all plays out and to see if my predictions were correct, you'll have to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new video and I will be sure to keep you updated on the ever-changing real estate market. So one of my goals for 2021 is to help 24 families achieve their goal of either buying their dream home or capitalizing on this amazing seller's market and selling their home. If you have thought about either buying or selling, please feel free to reach out to me, whether it is commenting down below or sending me an email. I would love the opportunity to help you achieve your goal. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Hey, were you curious about why the housing market didn't crash in 2020? Check out this video right here. And if you're curious about selling your home, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.